Hey everybody, welcome back. Rod here with some more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I went ahead and made our way up here. I was trying to think, I couldn't remember if I ended it on this or not, but we made our way up here on the other side of the village. And now we're going to head in and do some main story. So let's see where this takes us. Abby, so can you help me with this? It's broken. Hold on. Are you that Lara? Croft? I am. I recognize you from your picture. What's your interest with this place? I'm following a riddle. The heart of the serpent is in the cup near the many stone faces. The stone faces? That's why I'm here too. I don't want to step on your toes. It's the serpent in the cup I'm really looking for. Well, I can tell you the faces have been here for at least 400 years. According Whoa. to documents in the library, they keep watch. Legend has it, they're guarding a secret crypt. A crypt? We've never been able to find it. As you can imagine, that's what drives the treasure hunters crazy. But if the infamous Lara Croft is as clever as they say she is, well, if you were to find it, you might be doing me a favor. You think I should start at the library? Yes, it's over by the cemetery. It's one of the oldest buildings here. Make sure you credit me if you find anything. Thank you. I will. Okay, so I think I'm starting to see now, <clears throat> excuse me, what um, people are talking about. So I see a lot of people complain about this game because it's glitchy. And we had an instance, what, like maybe five or six episodes ago where uh, Unaratu came out and she it was just a bow. And it made me laugh pretty hard. But I feel like Lara's expressions weren't normal there. It was like she was being, uh, I don't know. It was weird. Where's this go? Wait, didn't I already shoot this? Cool, no shot, dude. Oh, hey, look. I almost didn't even see that there. Yeah, the other one's right over there. Let's keep my eyes peeled for the other two. Laura, you find anything yet? Abby's friend mentioned a crypt somewhere around the library. I'll meet you there. Sounds good. Meeting at the library. Ooh. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know what's going on. This is even a different recording session, and my throat's still acting up. I honestly felt like I was sick this earlier. This document is fascinating. It tells the story of several natural disasters which struck this area. A flood, a fire caused by lightning, and a severe volcanic tremor. In each instance, buildings on this site were badly damaged, requiring considerable rebuilding. Huh. Yeah, that sounds like everything we had something to do with. Yay. Not. Oh, whoa. What's up with the chickens? Do a little dance? Do a little dance, everybody? I'm just keeping an eye out for any documents. Can't carry any more. Any uh, sneaky sneakies? Can we put these guys? Hey, bud. <laughs> um, there, where was the, there was somebody we could trade with. I swore I saw someone we could trade with. Aha, uh -huh, here we go. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Hi, what do you have? Have you come to the mission seeking salvation or its secrets? I'm, I'm not sure. A little of both, maybe. Ah, to wait for life to unfold before you is a luxury of the young. I was like that once, drifting along. Is that how you came here? Huh? Oh, in a way. In a way. <laughs> Can I offer you a small piece of advice? Make a choice before it's made for you. Ooh. Ah, enough of my meddling. Are you looking to trade? Yeah, I want to see. Oh, yo, 
a rifle suppressor. Got a shotgun spread. Yeah, we're gonna buy That's that. That's a good deal for both of us. What's this? Hide shell holder increases carrying capacity. Ooh, yes. Get that. I'm sure you will be satisfied. Um. So it's a new shoddy. A wasp. I don't think I have enough to. I guess I do. Good deal. I'm sure you will be satisfied. So we could get either. Oh yeah, that's a rifle suppressor for that. And then a shoddy, and then this. Oh, so that's another shotgun. Ah. All right, well, let's get this. That's a good deal for both of us. Ooh. I was wondering because I'm like, man, I got all I'll this. <coughs> excuse me, I got all this gold. I gotta be able to do something with it. Okay, so that's done all the way. It says there's a mission up here. Never forgive myself. You'll have to calm down. Wait, oh, I didn't even see that guy had a mission. Did you say someone's missing? Yes, Isabella, another member of the field study. I checked on her after the first tremors this morning, but her tent was empty. You should ask Manu. He probably told her where to find El Dorado. This is serious. We had a fight last night. A bad one. I'm sorry, Guillermo. I didn't realize. Please continue. You had a fight. I don't mean to pry, but it's all right. I think her facial. We've been very close friends for almost a year, and I think both of us would like there to be more. But neither of us has broached the subject. Isa and Sarah—they often don't get along. Sorry, Sarah, but it's true, because Sarah insists on her team being very down to earth, while Isa has a passion for folkloric tales of hidden temples. I often get caught in the middle. Those stories always come from somewhere, even if most of it is made up. There'll be some kernel of truth to it. That's Isa's viewpoint, too. Anyway, there's an old blind man who lives here named Manu who's full of these kinds of stories. He convinced her there's a secret creep hidden around here, and last night she asked me to come with her and find it. I refused, and we got into the old fight. It ended with her calling me a hidebound coward and me calling her a... a foolish child. So she ran off. A foolish child? Yes. I don't think he called her that. So as she put it, prove all you naysayers wrong. This morning I heard rumors that she vandalized the cemetery last night. That's when I started looking for her. When I found her missing with no one knowing anything, I started to worry. What if she went looking for the crypt and something happened? I can never forgive myself. All right, you stay here. So if there's news or she comes back, you'll know about it. I'll go looking for Isabella, starting with the cemetery. You do that? Yeah. To be honest, I'm as curious about that crypt as she is. She's like, it's kind of like a, it's on my way. Okay, so we saw the crypts up there. That's also where the library is, so I guess we'll head up this way. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, what's over this way? Oh, something on the ground. A pamphlet. Now this is a fascinating concept. The Miracle Club. Come meet people that share your beliefs, devotion, and taste for adventure. Create lifelong memories as you travel the world together. It's a Christian singles group dedicated to visiting pilgrimage sites. Huh. That's an interesting idea. Oh, okay. I guess that would make sense. This would be on a path to something. What's up here, though? Oh, we found another flag. Oh, yeah. So we just got one more. I'm gonna actually get this challenge done. Is that a painting? Ah, that's cool. Is somebody laughing like Ryan back there? Oh, another. This is an official document issued recently by the Holy See. 
In consideration of this mission having been badly damaged by an unusually violent and entirely unexpected volcanic tremor, they sent requests to every Spanish-speaking diocese, asking them to consider sending missionaries to restore and rebuild this holy site. Okay. Well, I mean, I guess, uh... It's unusually violent. Hmm. I can't remember what they said the Holy See was. I wonder if that's like their... ultimate leader. Oh, we got something else over here? No, oh, that's just a book. So I think if you talk to people, they give you points of interest, but I usually end up finding that stuff. Oh, hey, last one. Told you I'd get them all, I guess. Challenge complete. Give me that skill point. No? Definitely thought you got a skill point for doing that. This document describes the founding of the mission. There were four solar eclipses in this region around that time, in 1521, 1538, 1539, and 1543. Spanish missionaries reported that during each one, a vision of John the Apostle appeared on this site. So in his honor, the mission of St. John was built here in 1544. Huh. It seems like so long ago. I feel like those are earlier <clears throat> numbers than what we were seeing before. Because so I feel like it was like 16 or something. Or maybe it was 15 or something. I mean, if Jim is right. Oh, well, I guess we'll just follow him. So there's a crypt around here somewhere? A secret crypt. Why secret? If Lopez is involved, there's bound to be a trick. That's a solid theory. What about you? Did you find anything? I got a pamphlet. Seven steps closer to God. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it'll help. Strange, there are only seven stations. This must be based on an older tradition. Jesus takes up the cross, falls the first time, meets his mother. Then Veronica wipes his face before he falls the second time. Then he is crucified and finally entombed. Huh. I wonder... I mean, this is the only looking door that we can go to. <coughs> I mean, I really don't understand what's going on with my voice, you guys. Like mm, means we're on the right track, right? Jonah, I feel something. We're getting close. <laughs> Let's look around for signs of Lopez. <laughs> He's like, yeah, did you smell it too? These Jonah! The written by the founder of the Sector 7. We're talking about funds allocated for renovations to the library. Oh, this is a library. Okay. Hey, I wonder if I'm supposed to go back here. Oh, that's just, uh, that's just an item. The others are worried that brothers de la Cruz and Serrano will not return. I have so far maintained they will, that they always have. But in my heart, I am beginning to believe we have seen the last of them, and that grief weighs heavily. We will continue their work. Either they will return to find we have not forgotten the teachings, or they will look down on us from above. And bless our continued labors. That's some dedication right there. So, is there anything else? Okay, well, if that's where we're supposed to go for a story, then what the hell is this? Ooh. Looks like it's from the 17th century. Why well, would they put a wall around it? Okay. 
I definitely thought there was going to be something in there. And then we gotta go to that book. Whoa. A heron and an eclipse. Oh, some on the ground back here too. Ah, oh, T Serrano. Twenty fifth of December, sixteen. It was sixteen, okay. It has been four days since we turned away from the city. We traveled in silence and in circles, guided by a confusion of grief, relief, and celebration. Lopez and I exited the jungle and landed in a clearing, under the gaze of several faces carved into the side of the mountain. Lopez had an episode, as he later called it. He threw himself in front of the faces and screamed for forgiveness. The heaviest sin on his heart was abandoning Perez to the strange warriors. They had grown close over the journey. Try as I might, I could not console him. So I built a fire and waited, as he decreed his actions and pleaded for forgiveness from the silent stone faces. All right. I wonder what it was. I mean, well, I guess it's probably been adventuring the whole time. Four days away from the city, Ugh, that's a lot of travel. Um, I don't think there's anything else we can do. Oh. There's all kinds of backstory to this, it's awesome. And under his wings you may seek refuge. Under his wings. Hmm. Well, now time for the book. Huh? Oh, I thought I had to read this book or something. Alright, well, then upstairs we go. So I don't see anything else. I like how she has to break the wall down, like she couldn't just reach over there and <laughs> just grab that. 26th of December, 1603. Lopez woke me, having already prepared a Spartan breakfast. Yes. This is where we were meant to be, he said, a cold determination in his voice, so very different from how he acted just the day before. I finished my meal as he spoke of holy retribution, how he had acted in error, but now God had put his hands on his shoulders and shown him the path to walk. We will spread the true word of God from this small mission, he said, pointing to an adobe building just beyond the stone faces. We will prepare the path for the chosen one to follow, for only he who does will be worthy of this box. Huh. So they automatically made it set up so like you weren't going to find it unless if you knew. Oh. Jonah! This book describes a stranger's arrival at the mission. He founded the Sect of Seven. Maybe that was Lopez. Like on the pamphlet. We must be getting close. Okay, the, the Sect of Seven. Oh, there's only... All full up. Can't carry anymore. Okay, what's this? Oh, John the Apostle. John. Son of Zebedee, one of Jesus' apostles, also called the beloved disciple. He and his brother, James, were known for their impetuousness and temper, which prompted Christ to start calling them Boanerges, Sons of Thunder. John that. is credited with writing five books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, the three epistles of John, and the Book of Revelation. He is the patron saint of love and loyalty, as well as writers, publishers, and scholars. One of his symbols is a serpent in a cup, which is linked to his patronage of victims of poisoning and burns. Oh, didn't they say something about the serpent in the cup? Was it looking for its heart? So he already had that symbol? That's interesting. Alright, well not much action this episode, you guys. There's going to be a whole lot of uh, backstory, which is fine. I enjoy stuff like this. What's back here? People are gonna come back like, what have you done? Oh! <laughs> the sun will be darkened, 
and the moon will not give its light. Jonah, those two Bible quotes. The sun will be darkened, and under his wings you may seek refuge. What does it mean? That's it. Look for a heron and an eclipse. Well, it's down there. We already saw it. I could have told you that. This go. roughly drawn sketch shows St. John repelling a demon attack. Perhaps they plan to have this as one of the frescoes in the mission. Okay. Not sure how that was relevant. It didn't even show us the picture. Whoa. Oh. One more thing over here. Brother de la Cruz appeared one day, emerging from the jungle, breathing new life into the mission. There were just the three of us when he arrived, and Sister Dorothea had been ill for many weeks. He and his associate began to work that first day. By the next week, de la Cruz had recruited a workforce of three dozen. Oh. They have prepared the bell tower and worked the fields, planting crops. Brother de la Cruz aims to make us self-sufficient. We'd spent so long alone out here, I'd worried we'd lose God's ear. Lo and behold, we not only had his ear, but he sent another to act as his hands as well. That's pretty cool. That's what I like seeing. It was like a group of people starting out with something and it just turns into something bigger and everybody's just like, alright, we're all on the same, same side. Let's get this and make it happen. Uh... The stained glass window is the last thing, right? Uh. Stone faces weep as Jesus creeps along the Dolores path. Too many died. More will still, and more will still, and more will. Okay, that's a little dark. Um. I don't think there's anything else, so I guess we just go ahead and drop here. We're not drop here. Just kidding. Can I fall down here? They let you fall down literally. Okay, I was like literally in spikes and everything else. So I can't fall through the second floor of a building. Well, it's gotta be this. There's a whole mural under here. It's like, what? You know what to do. Whoa. Vera Cruz, the true cross. Is that what I think it is? The silver box. It's unmistakable. Jesus takes up the cross. These are the stations of the cross. But there's a bunch missing. Before 1600, there were only seven. This could date back to the time of Lopez. This is one of his clues. Yeah, it's the kind of thing he does. All right. Let's see if we can find a cross lying around here somewhere. Huh. All right. Well, you guys, I think we'll go ahead and uh, stop the episode the here. We'll find a way. Yes. Go ahead and uh, stop the episode here. Just a whole lot of uh, talking and whatnot. But I just wanted to, because last few we went and explored down here, took care of those challenge tombs and everything. I still need to find my way over to this crypt. Um, but yeah, we'll go ahead and work on the main mission in the next episode. And continue on. I think there's still uh, the side quest too. Maybe we'll do that as well. But yeah, I appreciate you guys for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment, let me know. If you haven't subscribed yet, feel free. Should be on the top left of the video towards the end. And yeah. You guys are awesome and amazing. I hope you have a great day. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.